person who um, has broken your trust by verbally assaulting you, part of repair work is to take responsibility for their lack of self-control when they're upset. So oftentimes what happens in an abusive relationship is I said those things because you pushed my buttons. And in other words, it's your fault that I acted that way, right? So now you're on eggshells, you never know what's gonna set him off because it's your fault that he acts that way. And so part of repair is, can I trust that you understand that you're responsible for what comes out of your mouth and that you're responsible to manage your emotions? Can I trust that? Can I see that you're doing that and that you understand that words damage? And if you do that, our relationship is broken. Do you understand that? And can I see that you're making steps to learn how to take responsibility for yourself? And you understand that there are consequences in our marriage if you don't do that. We talk about old history and new history and how is that new history of repair work being built? What are some of the signs that you see that those threads of trust are being rebuilt, okay? Trust isn't rebuilt in a day. There are threads of trust that you're knitting back into a new history of relationships. So I'll just give you one story about that. So I um, worked with a man who was very verbally abusive to his wife. He would always make very snarky comments about her being a homeschool mom and not doing anything around the house and he's the only one who works hard all day and blah, 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 you know, just put down shaming remarks about her being worthless and him being the star, you know, and the only one who's contributing and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so he was working on that. He owned that. He agreed. So, so he comes home from work one day. So they're built. This is the old history. They're building new history. They're trying to work it out and he's not feeling well. And he comes home and dinner's not ready because she's got her, you know, five kids and she's got her hands full and dinner's not ready. And he's irritated because dinner's not ready. And he says, what did you do all day? And she looks at him and he said, I shouldn't have said that, should I? That was inappropriate. I'm not feeling good and I have a bad cold coming on and I'm hungry and that was a snarky thing to say and I am so sorry. I don't want to keep doing that and I shouldn't have said that. So I'm sorry and I'm going to go lay down and let me know when dinner's ready, all right? So what was different about that? What was different about that? He still said a snarky thing because that's his habit. What was different was that when she gave him that look like, are we going there? <laughs> All right. He caught it and he owned it and he took responsibility. It's his issue. He shouldn't have said it. I'm aware. I'm not feeling good. I've got a cold coming on. I'm hungry. I'm more vulnerable to saying snarky things during those moments. It's not your fault that I didn't have dinner ready or you didn't have dinner ready, but I got to take care of me now. I'm going to go lay down and take care of me so that I don't vomit on you. That is a thread. Oh, he's getting it. He's understanding that you just can't treat me this way just because you don't feel good or just because I don't have dinner ready. And he's starting to understand and connect the dots that you have to take responsibility for you and how you treat people. All right. So that would be an example of the repair work that starts to get done in um, a relationship if you're rebuilding broken trust. Can I trust you to take responsibility for your own feelings and your own temper instead of blaming everything on everybody else? All right? So that's why a man who's broken trust has his own work to do, right? Because it's not your work to do that for him. Because it's not your work to make his life perfect so he never feels those feelings. It's his work to understand when I feel those feelings, I have to take responsibility for me, just like you have to take responsibility for you. And sadly, Many women that I've worked with over the years will leave an abusive man and then make the same excuses for their bad behavior as he did. Well, he pushed my buttons or my kid provoked me. Well, yes, that happens in life, right? If we're going to live in reality and truth, people push our buttons. Uh, you know, I'm driving down the highway and the person in front of me who's going too slow is pushing my button, right? Because I'm in a hurry. And it can be real tempting to blame. I mean, that's the oldest dance in the world, the blame game, right? I can blame them for my reaction, but God says, I'm responsible for my reaction. Even poor Moses, he was sorely provoked by the Israelites and he was held responsible for the way he beat that rock, right? Moses, you're not going to the promised land. There's consequences to your behavior. Well, the Israelites made that, well, yeah, they did. But Moses, you're responsible for you, right? That's the essence of maturity is you take responsibility for you. And if you don't do that and you blame everybody else for the way you act, you're not thinking right and you're not safe because then someone can't trust you because I can never be a perfect enough person 
that you're never going to be aggravated by me. So if you feel entitled to abuse me when I don't perfectly please you in all respects, this is never going to be held because I can't possibly do that. I'm not a perfect fantasy wife, nor should I.